Alright guys, today I'm... You know, I've been thinking about this for a while. I haven't actually made a video about this. And that is, I'm going to be explaining why the Nasher in uh, Gears of War Judgment is so terrible. You know, I've seen so many people, uh, you know, I, you know, wonder why. And, and it's just, I honestly think it just needs to be explained. If someone, you know, if, if you've been playing Gears for a while, you probably know why. But... I'm just going to go in here and just explain the technical reason to why the Nasher is so terrible in Judgment. And, uh, you know, I'm in Horde right now because, you know, I just don't want random enemies attacking me. And, you know, first off, the reason why the Nasher is so terrible in Judgment is because of, well, it all comes down to the spread. The spread of the pellets that, you know, that come out of the shotgun, you know, every time you shoot at the Nasher, you know, the spread that comes out of the, the gun itself. Uh, the closer the pellets are together, the stronger the you know each shot is. The wider the pellets are, the weaker each shot is. And there is a huge difference between the spread and the Nasher in Gears of War 3 and in the Nasher in Gears of War Judgment. And for example, right here, just take a close look at all, all, how all the pellets you know spread and everything. If you can clearly see, all the pellets are pretty you know much in the reticle. You know, you don't, you don't really, they're all, you know, they're all there. It's yeah. inactive. They're all, you know, they're all really small. You know, they fit in the reticle. And even from a huge dif distance, let me see another clear wall. Okay, even from a distance, they still pretty much fit. You know, they all fit inside of the reticle. That's pretty much why. That's why the Nasher is so strong in uh, Gears of War 3 and, and it's not a bad thing you know Gears of, War, the, Gears of War has always had a strong Nasher and it's a good thing to keep it that way I love the Nasher being strong I love wall bouncing I love the whole entirety of you, the Nasher Nasher is number one weapon in Gears of War in my opinion you know everyone uses it it's a great weapon it's basically the Gears of War equivalent blah, 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 of the BR in Halo you know so it's a good thing that the Nasher is strong and it needs to stay strong Clearly, see each shot. The you know the pellets are all in the reticle. You can clearly see how small the spread is, and it make you know it makes sense. It's a good thing. But now let's go to Gears of War Judgment. Okay, now in Gears of War Judgment, just uh you know first off, like I said, the spread is gigantic. I'm fighting a bot in uh, Domination, by the way, but I'm gonna ignore that. Um. Okay, look at the spread, the dis the difference between the spread in Gears of War 3 and Judgment. Look at how huge that spread is. It is ridiculous to how huge... It, it just doesn't make sense. About only four pallets of the whole spread fits in the reticle. And where are these all going? Look at each one of these on the outside. They, they, they don't even fit inside the reticle. Only four pallets. Unlike the Gears of War 3 Nash where all the pallets fit. Th that is just ridiculous. Even at super close point blank range. It is still not in the reticle. And that is exactly why the Nasher is so terrible in Gears of War Judgment. Because the pallets are nowhere near each other. And it makes it very hard to hit a body. The freaking shots, you know are way too wide. Well, what the heck, that looked weird. Over here. See, the the spread is ridiculous. And, and obviously, from a distance, it's just even worse. You, you can't even see the pallets. What is that? Like, two pallets hit a wall? Okay. Look at that. That spread. Is a bot right there? <laughs> Get out of here, bot. No one likes you. Okay, anyways. Okay, let's see. Let's get a clear, clear distance wall. Okay, okay, right here. Look at that spread. That is exactly why the Nasher is so weak in Gears of War Judgment. I have no idea whose idea it was to make the Nasher so weak, to make the spread so wide. It was not a good idea. They were obviously trying to appeal, you know, to the whole assault rifle thing, you know, trying to make it more casual. They try to take away the main weapon of Gears of War, and that is why 
Gears of War Judgment is not so good. I know I always bash on this game, but I'm taking this on a very serious level right now. I'm just trying to explain why. And then another reason why is because of the whole reticle thing. In Gears of War 3, the bullets always come out from the tip of the barrel. In Judgment, they do not. They come out of the center of the screen. See, my Nasher is in the wall. You see it clearly in the wall. Look where the bullet comes up. Look at that. How does that make sense? The bullet is not coming out of the, the tip of the shotgun at all. So imagine that the spread, first of all, and then on top of that, it's not even coming out of where you're aiming. It's coming out of the reticle. So that obviously makes it a lot harder to use an Asher because you're if you've been playing, you know, Gears 2, Gears 3, you, you, you're used to the bullet coming out of the barrel. You're used to it by now. You're not used to this crap. You're not used to that. You expect the bullet to come out of the gun, not the wall. Or not the reticle, I mean. And that is why the Gears of War Judgment Nasher is pretty much useless compared to that of the Gears of War 3 Nasher. Just one more time. Look at the spread. Okay, let's find a good wall. Look at the spread. And then look where it comes out. That does not make sense. It really doesn't. So, you know, that is it, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video explaining why the Nasher is so terrible in Gears of War Judgment. If you like Gears of War Judgment, then, you know, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to hear and uh, sit here and say, oh, you're, you're, you know, you're an idiot or whatever for liking. You can like whatever you like. You know, I've never been the type of person to tell you what you can and can't like. But honestly, in my opinion, this crap is stupid. It does not make sense. And that is why Gears of War Judgment is not a good game. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.